My name is Bobby Sherrell and I'm a St. Anthony cancer patient. I had a mastectomy March of this year and through the grace of God and St. Anthony Hospital, I am healed and I have to go to church. Oh, I've got the neatest little church. We're very small, but um, they're just, just a very loving family. Anybody that walks through those doors, everybody hugs you. Now, there's no handshaking, it's a hug. I had the mastectomy, y'all know, in March. And you know, God's healed me of this cancer. I have no cancer anymore. I have a Christian doctor, and he's treating me like his mother and even calls me mom. So I am truly blessed. If I had a mammogram and I had found a three inch mass in my right breast, my surgeon preferred St. Anthony and I said, well, I certainly was glad because if he wasn't going to St. Anthony, I was finding another surgeon. I am so thankful that God sent me to St. Anthony. And he gave me the doctors he did. And I'll tell you, I want to thank Dr. Pujari for making me feel like a, a person and not a statistic. Treating me like a person through the love of God. I know that was it. And Dr. Shakir for recommending him. And Dr. Bowen, there's just not enough words to express how I feel about what he's done for me. God heals sometimes instantaneously through nothing but his divine healing. But God heals through doctors and people too. We ask you to go in and touch all the doctors, touch all the nurses. Merciful Father, I know that it's the doctors that do the surgery, but we know in our hearts that it's you that do the healing. I'll tell you, I'm just really pleased with you as my doctor, and I'm glad you treat me like your mother. <laughs> Faith is important to her, it's important to me. I mean, when people embark upon this treatment, they lean on their faith in God and, and their hope that it's God's will that they'll be cured. For her, I believe her prayers were answered, and I have a lot of respect and admiration for her, and uh, we all care a lot about her. I was in the hospital three days, and they was just the nicest people in the world out there. I never had an ugly nurse. I'm telling you, there's not a one that come in there that I didn't just fall in love with and want to bring home. They're so nice and so caring. It seems like they went out of their way to try to do things for me that I didn't even need done. Even the housekeepers were especially nice. And you know, that, that's really saying something. Because in three days, you see just about every shift. I've already told everybody around here that if I get sick, they better take me to St. Anthony because if I wake up somewhere else, they're in trouble. They had this uh, Look Good, Feel Better program. Sometimes when you have cancer, it tends to give your skin kind of some yellow undertones. I just enjoyed that tremendously. They had all this makeup donated from the big brands that I can't afford. And they showed us how to put your eyebrows on to where they didn't look really phony. And they said any old house needs a new coat of paint every now and then. I think a little paint looks good. <laughs> I'm still under construction. I'm not, I'm not through yet. God gave me a second chance on life, and uh, I'm telling you, I'm thankful for today. This, this, is, this is the day the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's on my answer machine. If y'all ever get it, you'll know.